Dear students, this video is for the first chapter in geography representation of the geographical features. As we all know, Earth is a huge planet with varied means different relief features like mountains, plateaus, valleys, rivers, lakes, seas and oceans. It is so huge that unless we are looking at it from the space, we cannot see the entire planet at one time. So it becomes difficult to study the earth without being able to see it as a whole. To make it easier for us to study, we make it small models that help us in our study. The different regions of the earth can be studied with the help of pictures, diagrams, sketches and maps and even globes. Now let us begin with the study of globe. So a globe is a small scale three dimensional model of the earth. Small scale because a large area is shown or drawn on a small space. The whole world is drawn on the small globe. Much details cannot be shown. So due to limited space we cannot show much details. It is mounted on an axis. So it is mounted on an axis, it moves on an axis so that it can be rotated freely just like an earth rotates on its axis. So lines of latitude and longitudes are drawn on the globe. So the horizontal lines known as latitudes and the vertical lines which are known as longitudes are also drawn on a globe. Now let us discuss the merits of a globe. It shows the exact shape of the earth. So it shows the exact spherical shape of the earth. The spherical shape cannot be shown exactly on a flat surface. So it can be precisely shown by a globe. The shape of continents and oceans are shown quite accurately. So it also shows the shape of continents and oceans quite precisely. It is a three dimensional model of the earth. It is a three dimensional model of the earth because it can be represented by its longitude, latitudes and altitude. The lines of latitude and longitude are also shown on a globe. So the horizontal lines known as latitudes and the vertical lines which joins the North Pole with the South Pole are, are known as longitudes are also drawn on a globe. Now, so we can say globe is the most accurate device to study the whole Earth. However, globe, globe has certain limitation. So now we are going to discuss the demerits of a globe. A globe is bulky and is difficult to carry. Bulky means it takes too much space. And because of its shape, it is difficult to carry. Details cannot be shown accurately due to lack of space. So due to its limited space, we cannot represent physical characteristics in detail. Only one side or part of a globe can be seen at a time. We can only see a part of a globe at a particular time. A small area cannot be shown on a globe. We cannot show very small areas such as towns and villages on a globe. Now let us discuss the maps. Map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part. So map can represent the earth as a whole complete earth or as a part or region of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to a given scale provided scale. Map shows natural and man-made features in a given scale. So map can show both the natural and man-made features of a given area uh, on, in a given scale. Collection of maps uh, in a book form is called an atlas. Merits of maps. Map is easy to handle and carry. Map is easy to handle and carry as it can be rolled and even can be folded. Because of its light weight, it is very easy to carry. All details like physical features, political features and even the climatic type, vegetation of a certain area, soil, okay, and agricultural land 
can be shown on a map. Detailed information of even small areas can be shown. So elaborate information of even small areas can be shown on a map. Like on a topographical map. Can show all man-made features and natural features of that particular area. Demerits of a map. Map does not represent the earth's surface like a globe. It says as it is drawn on a flat surface so it cannot show the earth spherical shape. Right? Uh, as map is represented on a flat surface, distortions do take place in a map. Distortion means some uh, changes or it will not be very very precise. Some changes may take place due to the flat surface. Types of maps. There are two types of map. Large scale map and small scale maps. Large scale maps. Small areas of land are shown on a large space. It shows small areas in detail. Like topographical maps. Small scale maps. It shows a large area in a small space. Cannot show much details. Example. The best example for this is the word map. Now let us discuss the importance of maps. Maps, maps provide a lot of information. And this information can be used for planning of roads, residential complex, factories, etc. Maps are useful for sailors, pilots and drivers. They can use, they, uh, use maps for their navigational purpose. These days the drivers take help of Google Maps to find direction to their destination. It, it is also useful for metrologists, miners, surveyors, engineers, etc. Metrologist, people, uh, the specialist in the study of earth atmosphere and weather conditions. So they also use maps for their studies. Miners use maps for mining purpose to help them in mining. Surveyors in map making and engineers for the construction of it help maps help them for the construction of bridges, railway lines, etc. Strategies of defense service depends on the information provided by the maps. Like plotting and planning for battle is also done with the help of maps. Now let us discuss the sketch. Sketch is a rough drawing made by people to give direction to a particular place. It is drawn without a scale and without any conventional symbols. So it is a rough drawing without any scale. It may have some landmarks but it has no scale. So when we talk about scale and conventional symbols I want to clear that scale is the ratio between the distance on uh, the ground to the distance on on paper whereas conventional symbols are internationally accepted colors and signs which are used on maps okay it is you it does not show all details but only the necessary ones it may it will not show all details of that area it may only show some few landmarks Plan. Plan covers a small area in detail. It is drawn on a small area is drawn on detail. It is drawn on a large scale and shows all details accurately, precisely. Like for example, if I say plan of your classroom can show the number and position of benches in your classroom. It can give all details of door, doors, windows. Students table, teachers table, blackboard and other details of your class. So stay tuned for the next part of the video.